The Union of Myanmar stands majestically in the midst of the world as the center of Theravada Buddhism, as bright and radiant as the sun or the moon. As it is the auspicious region where Theravada Buddhism flourishes, it may be termed the precious land of Buddha Dhamma with golden pagodas and temples. Soon after Lord Buddha attained supreme enlightenment, the two Myanmar merchant brothers, by the names of Tapusa and Balika, received eight strands of hair from the Lord Buddha, and it is assumed that it was a gift of prophecy that the sasana in Myanmar would shine as brilliantly as the sun or the moon. For more than 25 centuries, the Buddha sasana has been flourishing in Myanmar as the Myanmar Buddhist monks have successfully carried out their duties in Puriyati or learning Pitaka literature and scriptures as well as the duties of Paripati or meditation practice, so many arahats have appeared on this land throughout the ages. It is prestigious for the Union of Myanmar that not only Myanmar Buddhist monks but also Buddhist nuns perform well the duties of Pariyati and Paripati in accord with the teaching of the Buddha. Since the inception of Buddhism in the Bagan era and throughout the successive dynasties of Zagain, Pinya, Inwa, Nyaoyan, Taungu and Kongbao till today, the noble bhikkhus have striven hard to promote the Buddha Sasana by carrying out the dual duty of Ganda Dura or learning the scriptures and Vipassana Dura or practicing meditation. Similarly, the lay people have provided the four requisites of monks with veneration to the three jewels, the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha, and thus, the people of Myanmar have enjoyed the fruits of Dhamma. The 128 years old Tidor umbrella of the Shwedagong Pagoda, hoisted by King Mindo, has deteriorated and was replaced by a new one donated by well wishers led by the state. Thus, the Myanmar people can enjoy blissfully the fruits of the Buddha Dhamma in their secret land. At such a time, while the Buddha Sasana was flourishing, another milestone was added to the history of Buddhism in Myanmar. The sacred tooth relic from the People's Republic of China was conveyed to Myanmar in 1994 and again in 1996 for public veneration. In commemoration of such significant event, the State Peace and Development Council built two identical sacred tooth relic pagodas, one in Yango and another in Mandalay, and this made the people of Myanmar joyous and promoted missionary zeal. The site of the Tooth Relay Pagoda, Damapala Hill, Myangong Township, Yangon Division, has become a new religious and historical place. Moreover, the International Theravada Buddhist Missionary University has emerged near the precinct of the Tooth Relay Pagoda, which is a milestone in the religious history of Myanmar. Today, the Union of Myanmar stands first among the five Theravada Buddhist countries in the world. The rest of the Theravada Buddhist countries are Laos, Thailand, Cambodia and Sri Lanka. The Union of Myanmar, which has kept the teaching of the Buddha in its pristine purity, is playing a leading role in Theravada Buddhism in its pristine purity. Since there are well-learned monks who can commit the Buddhist scriptures to memory, 
Myanmar has become gradually a center for studying and propagation of the Theravada Buddhism. Foreigners who take interest in Theravada Buddhism came to Myanmar to study and practice Pariyati and Patipati. Observing difficulty in language barriers in learning Theravada Buddhism by foreigners, Chairman of the State Peace and Development Council, Senior General Tan Shui, desired strongly to establish a center for studying the accents of Theravada Buddhism thoroughly in a single place and from where to disseminate it throughout the world. At the ninth meeting of the Third State Sangam Hanayaka Committee held on 21st September 1994, a supplication on the construction of the Tooth Rally Pagoda and the plan to establish the International Theravada Buddhist Missionary University was recorded. Under the guidance of Senior General Tan Shui, the first coordination meeting presided over by Secretary 1 Lieutenant General Kenyo to implement the construction of the International Theravada Buddhist Missionary University was held at the meeting hall near the Tooth Rally Pagoda on the Damapala Hill on 17 April 1997. Successive coordination meetings headed by Secretary 1 Lieutenant General Kenyo followed. Thanks to the close supervision of Secretary 1 Lieutenant General Kenyon, concerted efforts of the Minister and responsible persons of the Ministry of Religious Affairs and assistance from other ministries, International Theravada Buddhist Missionary University has appeared during a short period of time. Under the guidance of the Head of State, responsible persons managed to implement the works in detail an International Theravada Buddhist Missionary University was successfully opened on 9th December 1998. The inauguration ceremony was held on a grand scale in the Mahapasana cave at Kabai Hilok, Yango, and was attended by members of the State Sangam Hanaika Committee, the state leaders, headed by Vice Chairman of the State Peace and Development Council, Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Services and Commander-in-Chief Army General Mao Yi, specially invited guests from foreign countries, students and Buddhist devotees. There were 36 foreign monks, nuns and lady students representing Australia, Bangladesh, Canada, People's Republic of China, Germany, India, Japan, Republic of Korea, Laos, Malaysia, Mexico, Nepal, Russian Federation, Sri Lanka, Singapore, Thailand and Vietnam, and 51 Myanmar students, including monks, nuns and lay people. The objectives of university are sharing the genuine Theravada Buddhism, the teachings of Gautama Buddha with the people of the world, studying and comprehending the canonical texts of Theravada Pitaka as approved successively by the six Buddhist councils, abstaining from evil deeds and practicing good deeds, promoting the four modes of sublime living, Brahma Vihara, which would lead to the establishment of a peaceful and prosperous world. Training more missionaries endowed with good morality who are well versed in Pitaka literature and meditational practices. This university offers the subjects at Tibitaka texts, Sautanta, Vinaya, Abhidhamma, Buddhist culture and history, Pali language, Myanmar language, Dhamma Nuloma, Samatha, Vipatana, missionary works, research, comparative studies of religions and foreign languages.
Moreover, the significance of this university is that the teachings of the Lord Buddha are taught together with practical meditation methods taught by the Dean of the Faculty of Patipati and faculty members. The state, in collaboration with the public, take responsibility for accommodation, food, academic subjects, and medical cover for foreign students. Hostels are kept clean and tidy. Post and telecommunication center is also open to the students. The students at the end of the academic year will be conferred a diploma in Buddha Dhamma. The state has arranged for the students who have already obtained diploma in Buddha Dhamma to pursue their studies in BA, MA and PhD. Such a successful development of Buddhism in Myanmar is due to the leadership of the state organizations, the state's wealth and people's faith and generosity, as well as Senior General Tan Shui's true faith in Theravada Buddhism and Ovara exhortation of the leading patron Venerable Seados, instructions and guidance of the cabinet and efforts of administrators. Because of such joint efforts, the International Theravada Buddhist Missionary University was founded during the tenure of State Peace and Development Council on 9th December 1998, and the first conferring ceremony of one-year diploma in Buddha Dhamma was ceremoniously held on 12th November 1999. Now, the three jewels of the Buddha are shining always in the secret land of Myanmar. In accordance with the exhortation of the leading patron Seattle, the state leaders, in collaboration with the Myanmar people, have founded the International Theravada Buddhist Missionary University, which had never been materialized in Myanmar history. Centered on this university, all of us are striving our best to promote Theravada Buddhism. It is indeed the greatest accomplishment and prestige of the country.